In this tutorial, I'm going to look at anchors. Anchors can be used to attach annotations to 3D objects. The Solar System project is a good example of their use. Each planet has an annotation or label and clicking on the label gives a detailed description of the planet. Click the Object Properties button, change Blender Render to Blend for Web, press X to delete the cube, add empty plane axes. If necessary, close up the panels in the Properties window until you see the Anchors panel. Tick Enable Anchor. Tick meta tags. In the title field, I'm going to type hello world and click fast preview. And we get a label or annotation anchored to the empty. Use the tip of the green arrow to move the empty to the side. Add empty plane axes. As before, Tick Enable Anchor and Meta Tags and I'm going to put Second Anchor for the title. Use the tip of the green arrow to move the empty to the side. Add Mesh Monkey and click Fast Preview. Anchors always face the camera whether you're looking from the front, the top or the side. They automatically word wrap. They are not obscured by mesh objects. The only thing that will obscure an anchor is another anchor. Press X to delete the monkey. Add mesh cylinder and set the Y location to 3. Select the empty and set its Z location to 1 and its Y location to 3. And change the title field to cylinder. I want to put three pieces of information about the cylinder in the description field. But using Ctrl and V to paste, the field will not take multi-line text. Using the break tag in between the lines solves the problem. Copy and Control and V to paste and click Fast Preview. Now when we click on the anchor we get the multi-line description. You can copy and paste special characters from a word processor or you can use HTML symbol entities. This is the symbol entity for Pi. This is the symbol entity for Superscript 2 which I used for Radius Squared. Copying the new version and Control and V to paste into the description and click Fast Preview. We now get the nice versions of the formulas. It's a good idea to make the cylinder the parent of the empty. The location is now relative to the cylinder's center. Now if the cylinder moves both when setting up the scene or when viewing it the empty moves with it. I've jumped ahead and added a sphere. I've made the original empty the child of the sphere and I've changed the title and description meta tags so that they match the sphere. I've also changed the bottom window to a text editor window and loaded the text file into it so that if you want to download the finished file, you'll get the example text with it. I duplicated the lamp and set the location of the duplicate to be the same as the camera. And I made the camera the parent of the lamp. I also set up a light blue sky. Click Fast Preview. 
That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.